Join me this morning on the Syndicate Lake. It's a 30 acre pit, stock of around 150 carp. Uh, they do go up to 50 pound. There's a couple of other 40 pound target fish to go for. They're real old English, lovely, lovely scaly dark carp. Gin clear, weedy. It's got everything going for it, this place. It's a real cracking piece of water. It's not easy, it's quite a tricky lake. We're in the middle of a massive heat wave as well. We've had, like today's temperature is gonna be 35 degrees. Nights are mid 20s, so it's gonna be quite tricky. Got a few spots primed up around the edge. Gonna give it a real good go, see if we can catch a couple for the cameras. Uh, I'll take you through the tips and tactics that we're using, the bait, the rigs, everything as we go along. Uh, hopefully, we have one or two for the camera. Bait has been easy, I always use mainline cell and hybrid. Can take that anywhere in the country. There's a lot of rudd in here, so it's, you're very limited to what you can actually use. There's no nuts, so it is really just predominantly a boily water only. I've put a few pellets in as well, just to get them grubbing around and get the spots active. I'm fishing on the shallower side of the lake. On the, it's split into half, so the other side, it goes down to 50 foot. This side, I think this is something like 80 bars through the middle of the lake, through the lake, running sort of parallel to this from this bank. Uh, lots of features, but they're not real high bars. They only come up a foot or two, and we're just finding clear bits on the top of the bars and baiting accurately if we can. At, at, at not mega range, 105 yards on fishing, which is not silly range at the moment, but you know, but you can catch them 10 yards out. You know, they, they, there's everything on this lake. It's a real, real interesting pit to be fishing. It's been quite a busy morning, the fish have been really active. I've seen a lot of carp showing, but unfortunately they're slightly to the right of where we're fishing and a little bit closer in. We're going to have a bit of a change, definitely find a new area in this area that the fish seem to be feeding either on someone else's bait from the weekend or on naturals. But I'm sure there's a bite there to be had, they've been really having it this morning. So yesterday afternoon we did have a little go stalking for them down the bank a bit on the pre-baited area. They was already there when we tried to get the rod in. It's always hard to wade in and lower rigs in when there's fish there. And unfortunately that didn't really result in anything. We prepped it up yesterday, ready to go back today. We're gonna to go a bit earlier today, hopefully get the rods out before the fish are there. And I'm sure if they come back in, trap set, we'll have a great chance of a bite this afternoon. Rig wise, it's a real, there's loads of siltweed, low line siltweed. It's a real nightmare. Sometimes you get a really good drop, but it's still, not confident that it's dead, dead clear. So I'm fishing stiff hinge rigs with quite long supple boom sections, probably a two inch chod section on the end, just to guarantee that my baits are sitting up clear above the siltweed and give me good presentation so that when they do come in and feed, I can hook one hopefully. The components, I'm using 25 pound Ridge Monkey chod filament with a size four barbless, it's a barbless only water, so a size four barbless chod hook. Like I say, probably about two inches high with a soft, supple camo uh, Ridge Monkey braid for the boom section. I've found that I've done quite well with white pop-ups, so I'm using mainline uh, milky toffees. They catch everywhere, oversell, scattering a cell, bit of pellet, with one of them always seems to work for me everywhere I go. Looking into the night, I'm gonna, like I say, 
find the new areas, get some more bait out. The weather's changed today, it's a lot cooler. We've got drizzle, it looks really good for a bite. Hopefully, by tomorrow morning, we'll have a couple of nice carp to show you. To say this session's been hot is an understatement. It has been boiling. We've had to work really hard to get this bite. So happy, with only a few hours left, we pulled it out of the bag. Yesterday evening, I see a few fish show in the swim next door, just short. Put a kilo of cell out, put a rod on it this morning, within a couple of hours. This cracking 20 pound mirror has slipped up. And a milky toffee pop up, absolutely over the moon to have caught one. Love the old carp, this is what it's all about. Good man, thank you. You don't know how happy you make me. There you go, baby. Thank you very much. Yes. Oh man. That's it mate, it's really made. Oh. God, that's a relief. Good again, mate. Cheers mate, I really appreciate that Rich. I've been carp fishing for 30 years and I honestly believe it's the hottest couple of days I've been on the bank. We have had absolute melting temperatures. Uh, I feel that the changing tactics from fishing out in the pond to dropping one in the edge right up the shelf on the small pre-baited spot was a great little tactic this morning to nick that bite. I think if I was stuck to my guns and stuck out on the baited areas, it would have been a blank. So always be vigilant, keep looking, keep letting the fish show you what to do. It pays off in the end. You know, I've worked hard for that bite. Love the old fish. We do have plans to come back. We are coming back once it cools down, September, October time, and I'm sure the fish will be more active and we'll definitely catch a couple for the camera then.